10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon, go GPS. plus 40 seconds we've heard call outs and now we're entering the throttle All bucket right, we're powering down the Merlin engines to relieve the acceleration as we get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure we're in the throttle bucket now we're beginning to power back up we hear the call out exiting throttle bucket the 9 Merlin 1D engine is going one. back to full power and we are now supersonic Max Q. Guidance engineer calls out Max Q, the period of maximum dynamic pressure, or Q, on the vehicle. From this point forward, although we go faster and faster, the thinner atmosphere will put less loads on the airframe of the rocket. Coming up next is Chillin' of the upper stage engine. We've got a good trajectory. And back in until it started. We've begun the Chillin' of the upper stage engine. Power on the Merlin 1D engines looks good. Avionics reports everything is nominal. And we're T plus two minutes into flight. Next major activity in half a minute, shutdown of the nine Merlin engines, separate the first and second stage, and ignite the second stage engine to carry GPS and the second stage into the first of two orbits today. This one will be the initial parking orbit. Falcon 9 preparing for Miko. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we've confirmed ignition of the second stage engine after a good stage one, stage two sup. Waiting to see the camera switch forward. Fairing separation confirmed. And we've got fairing separation. The two halves of the Falcon 9 fairing separating, the pneumatic system unlatching the locks that hold it together, and then the pneumatic pushers separating the two halves. As the fairing falls away from the vehicle, we can see on the left side of the screen the grid fins, the large titanium castings that are mounted to the first stage have deployed. They'll be used later as we come back into the atmosphere for precision guidance of the first stage to land on the drone ship. On the right-hand side, we see the second stage engine continuing to burn. It's at full power. Everything's looking good with the trajectory. So it just passed T plus four minutes into flight. Everything is go on the flight of Falcon 9 with GPS-3, space vehicle number three. As you just heard from John, we had a beautiful, clear liftoff of the Falcon 9 from uh, Cape Canaveral. And right now, there's two things happening simultaneously. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see a camera that's on the top of that Falcon 9 first stage, currently pointed down the length of the first stage. You can see the titanium grid fins, uh, and that will be executing its re-entry burn at about T plus 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And then on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the engine nozzle of that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. One entry burn shutdown. And we just heard the call out for an entry burn shutdown. Landing burn will begin. That's the next phase of landing at T plus seven minutes and 35 seconds. We currently have an unbelievable view of Cape Canaveral uh, from the bird's eye view. It is absolutely amazing. I've been at Cape Canaveral for these landings before where you can feel those sonic booms in your chest. It is just so exciting along the Space Coast.
Stage one transonic. Stage one landing break start. Stage two continues along the nominal trajectory. Right now, stage two is currently on a nominal trajectory. Right now, you can see that uh, second stage engine stage is performing is nominally with uh, the Merlin vacuum engine glowing red hot. Um, the vehicle is, is now, we're actually going to enter into our, our first coast phase now that we know that the uh, second stage is in a successful parking orbit. That coast phase will last about 54 minutes and will end with our second stage relight at about T plus one hour and three minutes. We're going to come back shortly before that to cover the, the second engine start number two. And we've got video of the upper stage engine. And we've got startup confirmation. Propulsion confirms we are up on power on the MVAC D engine. Now the second stage will burn for 44 seconds. And that's gonna add over 2,000 meters per second to the speed of Falcon 9 before we shut it down for the second time. Now this shutdown event might be called out as SECO 2. Now this burn that we are in right now will place the GPS-3 space vehicle into the required orbit prior to separating it from Falcon 9. We've got shutdown, waiting for orbit confirmation. Nominal insertion orbit. And it was kind of faint in the background, but if you heard it, we have confirmation that the second stage is in a good orbit. This is the one we needed to get to to place the GPS-3 satellite into its transfer. Payload separation confirmed. And successful confirmation of the spacecraft continuing on to perform its mission. From here, the satellite will undergo some activation checks and perform burns to raise into a circular orbit about 20,200 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And with that, that's actually gonna complete our primary mission. Now, another note, if you were watching our webcast earlier, uh, we accomplished another recovery objective today, and that is successful securing of both the fairing halves that we jettisoned early on in the mission. So we'll have those for use on a future mission. And that's going to bring our webcast coverage to a close. A uh, great view looking at the GPS satellite moving away from the Falcon 9 second stage. We want to thank the United States Space Force for entrusting us with today's GPS-3 Space Vehicle 3 mission. And we also want to thank the satellite manufacturer, Lockheed Martin. SpaceX is one of two certified providers for national security space launch missions. And we're proud to be able to offer reliable, cost-effective launch services to the U.S. Space Force. We look forward to the additional GPS missions we will be supporting in the future. I also want to give out a special thanks to the 45th Space Wing for the range support out of the Eastern Range today. And finally, with this last view, watching GPS-3, satellite number three, drifting away in the distance, we want to thank all of you, our viewers, for tuning in, and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.